Hello everybody and welcome back to Thomas Spear of Destiny. I'm coming from the future when the Thomas Spear of Destiny mod was already finished, but I made a mistake twice on uh, during the recording of uh, Force 11 and 12. First, I accidentally paused the video. I haven't noticed it because you don't get any. Uh, you can see when if you accidentally pause or uh, or exit the recording of a video in windowed mode, which I prefer to use for Wolfenstein. So that happened the first time. So I had had to use warp cheat to uh, warp into 411 and the second time I accidentally do it in the recording so this is the third time I'm gonna be playing these two maps and oh my god it's so stupid but oh well let's go to it so this will be very similar to 100% playthroughs so or I mean I don't it won't be the same but still but I know uh, I know most of the areas so this will be very similar to uh, an accident we died. I'm just got enough of these two maps. Oh, what's the secret? I'm not careful. I'm sorry. I'm just so... I so don't want to do these maps again. Because, you know, I've already done them. So it's like... Uh, but I'll try to say everything I've said... I've said in previous recordings I made for these maps. Okay, so th here is a secret. You know, uh, or in original uh, Wolfie, uh, Vol original Spear of Destiny, for 11, there's a hidden optional silver key. The same is here, but you can screw yourself out of getting it if you push this wall. You have to push this wall. Uh, it's a little dumb, but you know. Uh, and there was another push wall. I forgot where it was. Yeah, I forgot where it was. Uh, here. Right here. I found all these push walls uh, by myself during one playthrough. This is the outside area, similar to the original uh, Spear of Destiny for 11, but it's definitely different. I'll tell you why uh, later. There's quite a few guys which can come from both of these doors, as these doors are kind of connected. I say kind of, because there's a reason for it. Okay, because of this pillar right here. And there's more guys, so I'll come here. The secret here. And another push hole here, and a lot of goodies. This is kind of important secret on pistol starts from, from from what I've seen. Kind of important, there's a lot of goodies. And here's a lot of SS guiding gold. So that's them. And here's another secret. Okay. 
one up, which I'm gonna keep in there. So yeah, these rooms are connected but blocked by pillar right here. I'll have to take this because I need the ammo, so the 2% health that is kind of wasted, but it's fine. Another secret right here. With another one up. This is kind of dangerous room. There's a lot of SS. And some officers and guards as well. Okay, that's this room, so... Uh, here... I was a little surprised what happened after I opened this door. And I will explain this to you. The officer... There's a very small hallway uh, uh, in this room. And there's a gold key door right there. But the officer always opens it. See, it's a small hallway. And that officer always opens this door, which is a gold key door. Okay? And you have to go here. I'll save. Because I didn't. And here's the exit. And the mutant in the elevator, same as the original 411, it had mutant only in the exit elevator and nowhere else, but this is not the case here. These guys, where are they coming from? I know exactly, it's this door right here, which we already have the secret key of. So when I first played this, I was like, there are two locked doors and I don't have any of the keys. Where are the keys? I found the gold key eventually, but I was shocked I can't open this door. But then I remembered that the original 411 has the uh, hidden silver key. So I started searching for it and I was correct, but I hit the wrong wall first and I poked myself the first time. And these, that SS and guard, they came from through this door, from that area, because they already got alerted somehow. So, well, I can go into this door already. This area can be kind of dangerous, so... You gotta be careful, because there are also mutants in here. Uh, if you remember, original 411, uh, there were mutant. There was only one mutant uh, in the exit elevator, but that's not the case here. And I really like how this outside area is designed. But you gotta be careful of those mutants. And I really like how the areas behind the pillars also work. Okay, I'll save again. I don't want to lose progress. I <laughs> I have enough of these two maps, so <laughs> yeah. I hope I recording won't screw up again because uh, some some kind of weird thing weird glitch that's happening that uh, all of a sudden I can't explain it really it's less frames per second for some reason I didn't change any options in my bandicam I use the same options every time and for some reason it happened twice already it happened on my the recording you will see next, uh, where I did the rest of this mod, and I did it in three different recordings, so... A 
use one of the recordings for six to eight, 16 to 18 to have this glitch again. Lo less frames per second. I haven't changed anything in options and it, it, it really pisses me off because it's stupid. Why is it happening? I mean, yeah, I know my my uh, my notebook is old and stuff, but in four and a half years this never happened to me. And yeah, it's not cool. I don't like it. Okay, you have to be careful. <clears throat> this mutant got me the first time. So very nice placement. Uh, there was one secret. Oh, long this fall. Oh, right here already. And it leads right back here. And that's all I found, all the secrets I found. I haven't found every single one. And I'm not going to. Okay, that's the other door. Uh, there was one up. A different one up. Right here, which I didn't take. And I can go to 412. So yeah, this is, I would say, the inside area of this map, which is, which you have to do, is definitely a lot smaller than in the original 411, where you had, had to do quite a lot of stuff for reaching the exit. And I do like it, that it's, you know, simpler version, more to the point, and I somehow got everything too. It really, I really found all this secret in Blight Perfect because I really wanted to. Because I really like the map <laughs> and I really wanted to find most of stuff. So now you know the reasoning. And the same goes to this floor. Because, as you know, 412 uh, has the secret exit. For Secret 420, which I've already done in the next recording, which you're gonna see. So, this area... This... This is weird, we need gold key for this door. And these two doors are connected. This one isn't, I'll go here first. here. So you might remember the section in the original 412 with this uh, brown texture. It also had mutants, but it was a lot more complicated. A lot... It was done a lot worse than... It was a lot more difficult and kind of annoying area because all those hallways leading to the same room with tons of mutants. We have this secret with a lot of goodies, so I definitely uh, found uh, found the original for it was more tedious with this area. If you know what I mean, of course, maybe you don't. And this, here you can see the exit elevator. And yeah, you would think the direction of a push hole is somewhere around here, right? Along this wall, this wall, and somewhere in there, right? But no. The secret wall leading to this secret exit is a lot more tougher to find than you think. So we'll we'll get to it right now. So we have uh, these two doors leading to the same area. It's one large area, so I I prefer just waiting here for now. There's not too many guys that got alerted, but it's still good to stay here. I was doing it differently <laughs> during blind run, of course, I kind of rushed inside the area. But as I've told you, this is first third time I'm recording these two maps, so... I mean, there's not too many guys. Oh, they all got stuck here. But it's good. Okay, we have 
Something similar to Fort 12 on the original, we have guards blocked by pillars. Not by barrels, as in the original, and I gotta say, it's a lot better done than the original Fort 12. And if you remember correctly, you have, uh, you know, also guards that are blocked by barrels in a one small, in a one hallway, and it gets pretty tedious because those guys are kind of difficult to kill. So I like the idea uh, of making it, of you know, using this, the idea of uh, uh, those enemies being blocked by uh, something, by item, but done differently. Also, I would say that this map is also a lot more simple and, and a lot more interesting than the original or 12. This. I need to go get back the ammunition from the secret. And the health as well. There's not much left on this floor. It's not very big floor. Similar to previous floor. Uh, wrong door. Go here, this blue section. There's a lot of guys and the key. I'm gonna come back for the secret later after I clear this section. So this is it. Alright. Some of the guys got guard right here, and we can go back. And yes, I was searching for uh, the secret exit, because I wanted to see the secret map. You'll see it in the next, next video, so I'm not gonna spoil anything. So, but the thing is, I pushed every single wall on this map, but this little thing right here. This little thing right here, I never pushed. And the secret key is <laughs> right here. Yeah, this was the only wall I haven't pushed. Got a gold key. And right, right here, you'll see why the, why, uh, if you've seen the, you know, the secret exit from the night armor texture behind it, in that other room. It won't t tell you where's the push wall at all, as you see these large hallways that goes outside of the portions of the... Uh, uh, goes out outside the areas you have went in. And here, you gotta be careful, tons of mutants. Not sure how many, like 8 to 10. That's it? Okay. And someone returns here. And this is the gold key door. Which I did find in my blind playthrough. Because I was searching for it really hard, you know, for the secret exit and the secret key. I only found the secret exit, but I didn't have the key. So I decided to search it on Chaos Edit, like I said, because I wanted to play the secret exit. And man, is the secret key hidden really well? It's definitely well hidden. Well, it doesn't matter that I don't have all the stats, because I already did the rest of the maps. So I hopefully won't delete this recording. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm really sorry. There's so many problems with this playthrough. But I am no professional, and I... I'm sorry. It is what it is. You have to deal with it. 
<laughs> there might be any problems in the future with the future playthroughs as well. So I am really sorry. Ah. And yeah, this is the same stats that I got previously, so I missed some secrets. But it's okay, I'm not going for 100%. So, I'm not going to spoil this map. Thanks everyone for watching. Oh. And I'm really sorry again uh, for this not being blind. And see you again later.